Hey, Scorpios, let me know if you can hear me. It is raining out here. It's been kind of storming. So I don't know how the connection is going to be. I hope it's going to be good. Hey, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Grand Rising. Hey. Hello there, Scorpios. Hello there. Come on in the building. Grand Rising, Scorpios, Grand Rising. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, uh, Latoya. Hey, Dr. Love. Hey, Shirley. Hello, everyone. Welcome, Scorpios. How are you doing today? How are you feeling in this solar eclipse type of energy, huh? How are you feeling with it, huh? Are you feeling, are you feeling some type of way or, or something? Are you feeling good all over? Huh? You feeling good all over, Scorpios, are you? You know, you deserve to feel good all over sometimes. Hey, Verna. Hey, y'all. Welcome. How are you doing during this solar eclipse energy? Y'all, I had the pleasure of recording. Did y'all see it? I recorded it on a, on one of your Scorpio videos, which is going to play tomorrow. And man, it was just absolutely amazing. I was like a little kid. I'm telling you, it was like so amazing to actually go from the daytime to dark to back to daytime. That was mesmerizing for me and to be outside with it. And it's just so amazing to see it. It just I feel so recharged. I feel charged up. I feel like that energy can charge you up if you're trying to do some inner work. It can recharge your energy because you're going to release some things. And so you know that that's always what it's about. Cleansing yourself out so that you can receive something better. Shout out to my beautiful moderators, Dr. Love in this thing and Miss Kimberly. They don't play. OK, so don't start none and won't be none over here. It's all about the love over here. Can, can, can we can we love each other? Can, can we show each other some love during this time here? Now, you know, it's never too late to make a change. And now it's a good time to make a inside change. Uh, in order to change the external, the outside of you, you got to work on the inside. That's what it is. Because, you know, a lot of times we get so distracted looking outside of ourselves that we don't realize that what the main thing is us on the inside. You know, finding that power. What's up with that power? That inward power. That Scorpio's inward power. OK, so that's what we're talking about. And usually you're not going to really recognize the, the extent of your power is until you, you know, release some things, you know, let some things go. Because sometimes you're walking around here burdened down with the care of the world and you ain't even made time for your own issues here, Scorpio. So it's about doing what you need to do in order to be happy, even if it means walking away from situations, a certain mindset, the way you used to think, the way you used to view things, you know. You know, it's all a part of your lessons. It's not to be hard on yourself, but it's just for you to learn, for us to learn. But it was just so amazing. It was just absolutely amazing. That was such a magical moment to me because it's telling you that there is something really, really shaking. It's, it's, it's really happening. 
And I do feel like you can really get everything you desire here, Scorpio. So shout out to you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. Shout out to my beautiful, amazing Scorpio members, my subscribers, everyone who is stopping by. Welcome. Uh, let's tap into this after party energy because the energy is still is still high. Like 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 we had the solar eclipse. It was real deep here. It's really close. Now we got tornado thunderstorms warning outside. Y'all talking about it's raining. It's raining. It's been thundering and lightning and all those things. And, you know, it's, it's just steady cleansing. Just that steady cleansing, the cleansing, the purification time. Cleansing what don't what don't belong inside anymore so that you can attract something good. So check it out. You could be feeling a very, very intense connection here because you do have the intense card. You may feel like you're at a breaking point or something has to give. You may be feeling at, at that point where you feel like, look, something got to give. Something is intense. It could be a connection that you're in. Hey, Amanda. Hey, D -D -D Detux. Shirley, Shannon. It says the intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. Yes, yeah, coming out again. Thank you, D. Tooks. I appreciate you, darling. Thank you. We've gotten each other through that. Because look, you got past lives here. Absolutely, Shirley. Hey, Angela. That's how I felt because I was like a kid, y'all. I'm telling you, it was just so magnetic and so amazing to actually sit there and just sit through. I mean, like I say, I filmed it and you're going to, I let you guys take that experience with me. I, I, I took you with me and it was such an abusing thing, a beautiful thing. <laughs> we hear you. We hear you, uh, Tuscan. <laughs> Go on and set your boundaries thing. Then Go on and set your boundaries, okay? <laughs> don't nobody, don't y'all, don't y'all, y'all better leave T T Tuscan Rover alone. Hi, Aisha. Mystic Oracle Tarot, you cut them off. You may start dreaming about this person. You may have cut this person out. As soon as you cut this person out, spirit talking about look with, look with deep within your feelings. Ain't that something? See there? Yeah, the reason why it's going to be tense because you guys are soulmates. But it's easy to cut them off, ain't it? When you don't want to deal with it face to face, huh? How you going to learn if you're always hiding? Because when you cut them off, that means that you're trying to control the narrative. I'm just saying, look, don't look, don't. I'm just telling you, I'm just saying because we used to running, aren't we? We used to blocking the crap. We used to blocking them everywhere. But why? Why block them? Because you're afraid to face someone, to talk things out? Isn't that what people are supposed to do? They're supposed to talk it out. You can't always run. Y'all remember that movie with uh, Julia Roberts, the, the, uh, the running bride? You can't run every single time. Some things you're going to have to stand firm with. I understand, Angela. Keep on doing you. Keep on focusing on you. Like I always feel when you feel like there's resistance, that means that that energy should be put back into yourself. Absolutely. Because these relationships are for uh, for educational purposes. When you think about it, look, it, look, it ain't it ain't they fault that Scorpio falls in love with a lesson mate. OK, <laughs> it ain't they fault that Scorpio always fall in love with the lesson. But it's OK, because as you being the magician, you two come together. You both can come on one accord. Y'all can actually have a loving, happy, committed relationships. It says share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. Support here. Emotional support. I feel like you got an emotional fulfilling relationship that's coming your way. So remember this time alone. Hey, Dark Diva. See, this time alone is for you to build yourself up now. Wow. Hey, Bridget. 
I understand, Eric. You do. It's going to be a lot of third party energies now, but people are, are going to start waking up here. Wasn't it Shakima? It was absolutely amazing. Yes, and I got it all on video. So y'all make sure y'all check out my other channel tomorrow and watch it. It was so amazing, y'all. I felt that energy. I still feel that energy. I feel it. It's just so amazing. It's so magnetic. It was like a fairy tale. It was so magic. I mean, it was just it was just like I was stepping into a different dimension because it felt so you just got to see it. It just felt like a whole different dimension coming down. It was just so amazing, y'all. I'm telling you. And y'all got, I mean, you're going to see it. It was just right there. I, man, I ran from the backyard to the front yard and you can see it go nighttime to the daytime. Right back. It just, it's just so amazing how the universe operates. How can we not believe in something greater than this? Surely you believe that it's something better and greater. Shannon is married and separated and tired. That's why you need to focus on yourself for a time. You know, it seems like some of the people that I talk to, if they're getting out of a relationship and they've been in, you know, entangled in their relationship for a while, you know, they've created some type of soul ties. It's like the first thing they want to do is go find a new person. But what about you? What about that time for yourself? It's like it's like we're so used to, you know, we want that person, but we have to be complete, too, because I'm telling you, it's, it's easy to. Piece of pizza, stop, but I'm gonna have to hide you. <laughs> no, we, we ain't gonna do we're gonna go on and knock them out today because they, they, they that's the opener for them, Kim. They just they, they just uh knocking on the door to see if you're gonna open it. And yes, by the way, I do fix some nice fried chicken and, and mashed potatoes. How did you know? How did you know it? <laughs> Oh, piece of pizza. Say I look like I fried some mean goddamn me fried chicken and more homemade mashed potatoes. You know where you got to actually cut the potatoes up and boil them in the water and take your time and do what you need to do to it and stuff like that. Yeah, it's real crispy on the outside. <laughs> hey, Connie. <laughs> so check it out, Scorpios. Even underneath the bottom, you have love. That's what it's all about, huh, love? Y'all, Dr. Love said nothing like. <laughs> so you out there beating your chest now, doctor. Doctor said ain't nothing like being alone two years. Junk, look, look, Dr. Love Tarzan needs his Jane, okay? Dr. Love needs his Jane, y'all. Put it out there in the atmosphere. If you out there in the jungle talking about the woo and beat, surely you can go up on there and beat up on a, a, a Jane, god dang it. You must ain't doing it right, Dr. Love. Now, if you've been out there in them woods and you've been banging on your chest and you've been out there in them woods and things, hey, AMI, then you may need to bang a little harder or flex your pecs just a little bit harder. I don't think they heard you the first time. There's no way you're out there and Aunt Jane ain't came along. I'm just saying. Hey, Shiana, Shayana C. Sure, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you say you out there, y'all. He said he been out there in the wilderness for two years alone. You need a Jane. You been around there climbing around all them trees and things. Hey, Amy. <laughs> y'all, Dr. Love ready to cave man or someone. All right. <laughs> Maybe it's the eclipse. Hey, Miss Hannah. Hey, darling. So you do have love. Love is in the atmosphere for you. You always have love. You hey, Carly Love. Hi, beautiful Carly Love. Joe G, you need to get out your dark place and get into the light, honey, because you, you I'm saying you it, it, it's like. What I'm learning and I ain't saying I know everything, so don't come for me because I got moderators, got dingers, and my moderators do not play. OK, and they still love you. 
But it's not like you're trying to get out of the, it's not like you're trying to do away with the, the dark energy. It's transforming that energy because the energy is already powerful because you say you in a dark place, right? So it must be a very, very powerful energy. So don't get rid of it, just transfer it. Maybe you need to sit around here and listen to a back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back to back comedy hour. First, it's a start. Raise your vibrations. Get you some mood. <laughs> and this ain't no sponsor. I'm just saying here, I'm just, you need to raise your vibration here. Hey, Virgo. Shout out to the Virgos in the world. Everybody's welcome with high vibrational energy. It's time for you to raise your vibration here. And at this point, it's a, it's a choice. Karma, we don't want you here, darling. So get on. K kick them YouTube street rocks. Why? Because your name Karma. All you had to do is come in here and listen. You must not be no Scorpio because we listen with our intuitions when we tapped in. Maybe it's time for y'all to tap into y'all intuition. Sometimes it's time for you to do that inner work. I mean, Joe G, I know, I know it's hard, but it's a start. It is a start. Because I'm telling you, if not, it's just going to be like a domino effect. You know, when you think about when you stay in a dark place, it's going to keep on rolling over. You're going to keep on thinking about other and other and other and other and other dark stuff. So you got to take control. OK, forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive. See, forgiveness. Maybe it's time that you forgive yourself first. Because really, can't nobody on, outside of you be more hard on you than you can be to yourself. You know, sometimes we can be so hard on ourselves and it just don't make no sense. See, it says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. There it is. Think you need to let it go. Think you better let it go. Think you got another one, TKO. It's time for you to give it the TKO and let it go. Because at this point, it's a choice. Maybe you need to forgive. Maybe someone needs to forgive. Maybe you need to forgive your, yourself, forgive the person who did you wrong. It ain't about them at this point. It's about yourself, ain't it? Don't be carrying nobody else's burden and check it out. And I know I know you may say that it's easier said than done, but just think if it happened way back in your past life, somebody may have experienced a real, real intense past life, like a childhood or past life trauma here. But remember, a burden don't belong to you when you release it. You keep on holding on to it. It belongs to you. Because remember, you have the power. We all do. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to go in, John G. Now, Joe G. Now, I was going to come on in with it then. You start talking like that. It's like I hate to see that emotions because I know that we're very, very emotional people. And a lot of times, not a lot of times, really every time, we're going to be the ones that's blocking it because we're not forgiving. And you know, Scorpios, yeah, we know we, we have a memory like an elephant, but okay, it needs to be to a point, don't it? It's so many lonely, broken people. And it, it's, it's almost like you got one person here on the side of the world and one person on the other side of the world, and both of y'all want everything that the other person wants, but you make it so complicated. No, Dr. Love, it ain't got nothing to do with them because just think about it. It's not about forgiving them based on them because once you forgive, you release it all. You release you release the uh, replaying things over and over again in your head. You release whatever it is that's going to make you feel lesser than what you should be feeling when you forgive somebody. Because when you're forgiving somebody, you ain't supposed to still be sad about it. But sometimes it takes your heart to, to, to get terms with it that it's OK to release it. It ain't got nothing to do with them. It's about you. I'm telling you, it, it, your mantra should be right now. I refuse to take on anything that does not serve my highest good. 
Send your neighbors, your people who did you wrong. Send them peace, love, happiness. Send that to them and keep on moving towards what you deserve and desire for yourself. Because other than that, you're going to be sitting around here putting all this time and energy wasting in something that, you know, it's almost like you're going to be sitting around here sad and everybody around you going to be living their life. See? So, so, so what if you don't have another life to live? You better live this one. That's what spirit is encouraging you to live your life. See beyond your emotions. See beyond your, your pain. See beyond what you think you lost. Because the only way you lose is when you don't keep on getting up and trying again. And I know that if you're drawn to this video, you must be a fighter. You must be somebody's dreams wants to come true. I feel like you're looking for emotional fulfillment or maybe you need to sow into your own cup sometime. Sometimes that's all you got to do is build yourself up, y'all. And I know a lot of times we think we are ready, but it's OK. You're not you're not pressed for time. I know you desire that person. That's why you got to take it slow. It's nothing wrong with getting in some type of community where you can have someone to talk to, to pass that time, you know, because so that you know that you're really not alone and that there's other people who go through the, some of the same things that you go through, too. Sometimes all you need is somebody here to just lend you an unjudgmental ear or a nice word of advice. And then sometimes all you need to do is just pray. Sometimes all you need to do is just do one of those hideous, ugly cries and get all that gunk up out of you so that you can be more hopeful because sometimes it's time to just release it and you'd be surprised what a good old ugly cry would do for you i'm telling you it'll lighten your soul have you run around here like an old school boy like like you got a school boy crush and stuff you'll be up here lifting weights and be up here singing and whistling and shit and they be like damn what you eat <laughs> Give me some of that. I have what she's having. OK, that's what you should be doing. There you go. The soul cleansing, uh, the soul cry. It's a cleansing. And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to do that. Because you only a human down here. You've been all you've been eating all that pork. <laughs> you've been you've been smoking all that homegrown. You've been. <laughs> You've been living all kind of ways and things. <laughs> Not to mention you're trying to get some of this here. <laughs> this thing called love. So sometimes you got to let some of that stuff go in order for you to get something better. So let's check out what this forgiveness is saying. Now, yeah, everybody ain't on the same journey. But you could be housing some unforgiveness and don't even realize it could be or maybe this is someone you're dealing with but it's about you it says nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments it says scorpios and perhaps even those cross watchers or your exes or whoever it is that is low-key stalking <laughs> scorpio because scorpios are stalkable okay scorpios are stalkable hey verna hey stephanie <laughs> hey robert to feel is not to feel. Hey, Lachelle. It says, Scorpios, be willing to forgive yourself and others and open the doors to future growth. Love can be restored and trust can be rebuilt. Move from bitterness back to the joy you deserve in your life. Granting forgiveness is a choice that you make. You may not feel like engaging with someone, but you can forgive them without ever talking to them. An act of forgiveness helps replace anger, depression, anxiety, and old pain with hope and compassion. Think about what you can forgive as the benefits will be immeasurable. This process will increase your inner strength and your self-esteem. Forgiveness can heal and help you move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Replacing hurt with love will free you to love more deeply. See, you see what all that forgiveness energy does for you? You see, see, you see, 
See, it ain't about them. Hey, beautiful Puerto Rita. Underlay, underlay, underlay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I see that. I see them girls doing them dances. That's what I see. I see them. That's what I see them doing them hoochie coochie dances. <laughs> That's what I think about when I see beautiful Puerto Rico. That's what I feel. It's the hundred day, hundred day, hundred day. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> oh, you you separated. Uh huh. Most of half of the world are separated, sweetheart. That's why it's time to cleanse. Now it's time for you to decide what you want. Do you still want to stay separated? Because you can still move on and live your life. And in that, you may even find somebody else. You have to be open that maybe you can find somebody else and be happy with everything you wanted from them that didn't give it to you. It's almost like don't limit the universe. Put yourself in a position to really, really heal and be open to whatever the universe has for you, even if it happens to be with somebody else. <laughs> Y'all probably don't want to hear that, but I'm just saying, if you really want this here love, I'm just saying, do, do you really want the love or do you really want it? <laughs> and your next card here is focus on love. See, wow, see? And I didn't even flip it over, but that's what it say. It says focus on love. Latoya said, I had to learn to pour the love into myself that I was seeking from others. Amen to that, because that's what it's about, ain't it? Because when you pour love in everybody else and then they acting like you ain't pouring all that love in them, the right person, you're going to know they appreciate because they're going to always make a fuss over you and they're going to do whatever it takes to get more and more and more and more and more. More and more and more and more and more, more and more. I said and more and more. I said the Scorpios more and more and more. Cause an old school man always told me a real man that's really into you. You ain't got to ask him for a dang thing. He's going to do whatever he has to do to keep you happy. Because if he keep a smile on your face, then you're going to stay around him just a little bit longer. Right, right. <laughs> That's that old school wisdom. <laughs> you got to be at least a 71s, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, love you too. Hey, Latoya. That's right, Jinger. Self-love attracts more love. It, it means that you have to be whatever you're trying to attract. It says, look for the good in everyone. See, cause y'all be looking at the bad in them, right? <laughs> y'all be too busy thinking about that thing that they did wrong. God damn Y'all don't forget the good, the fun times you shared with them. Cause if all they showed you was bad times, how did you fall in love with that? Huh? You fell in love with the good part. Did you ever change? Were your expectations too high? See, if you don't give them all your cup, then you won't be expecting too much. You only give what they give you. And that's what I'm learning. You only give what is being given back. And if they don't want to give it to you willingly, then they don't want to give it to you. Then they don't get to look. They don't get to reap the rewards of a Scorpio. You wasn't stupid. See, there go them words, Dr. Love. See, because we all the same thing. When I start thinking about stuff, I'm like, girl, you was a big idiot. But then spirit, get my attention. No, that's not the truth. You did everything you were supposed to do. You wasn't an idiot. You was a student learning just like you are a student learning now. But the difference is you got some experience under your doctor of love belt. OK. No, I wasn't nothing foolish about none of that. Did nobody do you wrong? Everything was to make you better. You was just not where you're at now, but we all, you remember the food started somewhere, the food started completely. Everybody starts off like that, don't we? <laughs> I thought we all start off like that. That true, that's true, uh, Anthony. We, we were already been conditioned. We were already taught because our mom didn't know. What did, what did they know? Her mama didn't teach her. So, I mean, you really have to make the mistake in order to realize what is real for you. Experience is a good key teacher. Who is that, Nancy? <laughs> 
that's the only way you're going to learn is through your experience. Hey, Jess Scorpio. Back then, right. See, that's good, Dr. Love. Yes, Jess Scorpio. Hello. Because, man, if we think about all of the silly things we did, come on, y'all. We should be laughing at ourselves at anything. Hey, Regina, that, that's what we should be doing. We should really be laughing at our silly selves. We all got them stories where we didn't, where we'll sit here now. We were like, oh my gosh. Hey, Regina, Verna. I think we all, what they say, we was young, dumb, and full of love. <laughs> and you can imagine if we stalking now, you can imagine what we was when we was young. <laughs> So in other words, you know, you have powerful feelings because you do have emotions here. It says, look deep within your emotions here. Everybody don't deserve all of your emotions, do they? Because, you know, we was offering them cups. We were steady. We, we were steady replenishing the cups. And they like, God dang, I was just going to milk the cow. I just wanted to be on a lay, layaway plan just, just for a little while. But. God dang, <laughs> they say you to move the whole cup in. <laughs> All they wanted to do was see what was up and you to move in with them. And they like, damn. <laughs> All you have to do is give, give love the space to welcome itself in your life. You always have love because you have to be love yourself. See? If you are already love yourself, then all you have to do is just allow it the space to just present itself to you through the right person, because there's always the right person for everybody. So focus on love 24. It says, look for the great in everyone. You can't always say that they did something wrong to you. Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes, I mean, God dang, God dang, Scorpio, you mean God dang, I'm just saying you can't be right all the time, can you? Hey, Onyx the Jewel, you be the loved and they get yes. Yes, Shannon, that's all right. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. Don't we all play the fool? Man. But it sure felt good in the moment, though, didn't it? <laughs> so it tells you focus on love. It says. Look for the good in everyone, Scorpios. It says it is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of the people in your life. Remember the things that cause you to fall in love with them in the first place. See, see how y'all do? See how you do? See, as soon as things don't go every single way you want it to go, you forget that you manifested them and that you're probably already in love with them. See there? See there? Scorpio, see? See? It says, remember the things that cause you to fall in love the first time in the first place. Focusing on the love will change and heal any negativity that is there. You may be experiencing a rough patch with someone you share a relationship with. Work towards turning things around. How you perceive a situation has a lot to do with how you feel about it. Be good to people, no matter who they are or what role they play in your life. When you approach relationships with a positive mindset, you, Scorpio, reinforce the love in your life. Strive to be supportive and loving. Foster the good in others and the return will be tenfold. See there? Thank you, Deanna. Thank you, love. May the universe tremendously reward you in ways you can't even imagine. I'm talking about you can't even imagine. Thank you. See there? Spirit says it's going to give it back to you tenfold. See, 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 see the thing that you fell in love with, uh, the thing that made you fall in love with, that's the energy you need to focus on in any given situation, even that person. 
Because you remember when you was all in love with that person, you weren't thinking about them like that then, right? Were you really in love or is you mad all best is off? <laughs> it can't always be all best is off now. God dang now, Scorpio. So it's just telling you. Wow, that's romantic AMI. See there, Onyx, I tell you, see? See there? Why are you taking this serious? What, what if he had the runoffs? I'm just saying, because he didn't call you back. <laughs> what if he got ill? <laughs> huh? I think Scorpios, Scorpios love so hard that Scorpios cannot handle the slightest hint of rejection. Hmm. If you feel like you're being rejected in any type of way, I feel like that hurts. Of course, and that's how you get them, Deanna. Y'all, Deanna said that uh, once I, once he told me to move on, I found someone new. Now he's chasing me. I told you it was going to happen. See? Like I told you in that video, like I said in that video, the chaser ain't running no more because you're no longer chasing them. They feed off of your energy. And you have to pull your energy back and take your power back. Hey, step down one. I know it, see? <laughs> the nerve, huh? <laughs> but, it, but if they rub you the wrong way, they're going to catch it. Are you a, a Scorpio? All you got to do is tap into your intuition here. So that's all I'm going to get out of that. It says, start looking at the good things. Thank you, Belle. I don't know what you mean, the dirty bubble. <laughs> uh, y'all, did y'all see gingerbread groper? We don't want to talk about that in here because that's not what we're talking about. What the heck do you think about it? Our voice don't mean that to you because we're over here talking about Scorpio love. And if you ain't talking about no Scorpio love with no high vibrational energy, then you need to go on, okay? You need to go kick the YouTube street rocks, okay? All right, and thank you because we're trying to, look, we're trying to heal, we're trying to purge, we're trying to release all negative energy, if you own that bull crap, then you're not welcome here, honey. Look, we're not going to drown trying to lift you up, uh, folks. <laughs> now, either you're going to swim or you're going to do better. All right. <laughs> I know it do, Deanna, but don't fall for it. Let them earn you. They, they need to earn you just like you need to earn them. No, you can't ask me nothing. You sure can't. You cannot ask me nothing because it ain't about you asking nothing. Now, let's see if we get some answers. Let's pull some of these angels and ancestors oracle here. So how are you guys feeling this evening? See there? Thank you, Latoya. I appreciate it. That's a good energy, Adara. Good for you, love. Because you have to. Because how are you going to get it? Absolutely. Absolutely, Shirley. Well, you know what? When I know I done did wrong, I beg, goddammit. You can't beg harder than me on something that I know that I done messed up in, baby. I'm going to beg you and I'm usually going to get you back. 
at that big. <laughs> because sometimes Scorpios need to look at look at things from a higher perspective or look at things from. I'm just saying, I guess it has to be worth worth it to you. Are you Onyx? That's amazing. Thank you, darling. I feel you. Absolutely, Carly Love. You deserve it. Y'all some beautiful people. Beautiful souls you are. You deserve it. But you know, you know, it starts from within. LaBelle Prince, he's coming tonight. Should I cancel? Well, LaBelle, thank you for the super chat, but you don't you throw a dollar ninety nine up there. You're gonna have to add a little bit more to that for me to answer your question. I appreciate it though. You go sad. Let's that's that stinger coming out, god dang it. <laughs> But that's what this journey is about. It's about snapping. It's about losing it. It's about saying the wrong thing. It's about all of those things. It is. Because how are you going to realize what you need to work on? Thank you, Bella. What messages for Scorpios? You keep turning me on right in the middle so you have mirror garden take time to reflect there it is am out and put a time <laughs> Hey, if I say, look, God dang it, now, if I say I'm sorry once, if I say I'm sorry twice, now, if you don't say nothing, then you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, snap. But you can't tell nobody when to forgive you, especially because, you know, sometimes your mouth, you know, sometimes your energy is so intense that you've been done, done a lot of damage. It's almost like you you want them to hurry up and forgive you when you want them to. <laughs> All right, so let's see what this is about. Mirror Garden, Guardian. So, I mean, this is a good time to, for those who really want to be and really attract something beautiful, you have to make sure that that is already in your energy. That's just what it is. It don't matter what these readings say. If you don't do your inner work, because we're all, we all have purpose. It's not just to fall in love and get your feelings hurt. No, you have purpose for other things. It just seems like that's just what Scorpio focuses on. <coughs> Excuse me. But I actually do believe you can have it all, though. I do. That's just my, my little fantasy, magical, mystical mind thinking self. I feel like if you can think it in your mind, you can have it. Y'all, I'm telling you, I, I know that it's real because it's so connected. It's like that veil between when you're almost fully asleep and you're just about to fully wake up. That little veil right there is it's so close. You know, they say that when we sleep, we are awake. And when we are awake, we really sleep. So when you sleep, then that's when you should be thinking about your stuff. You remember, you got dreams here. So let's see. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. 
It says you are a beautiful being, Scorpio, who has some so surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted. Did I already say that? Wait a minute. This, the word, oh, they used it twice. The strengths you have developed and the lessons you have learned. Your angel Scorpio wants you to reflect on your strengths in particular, those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. Mm. Take time to reflect. Angels accept you just the way you are, even when you are going through a challenging time. They still hold you in the highest esteem. So see, like, 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 like I was saying, we be so hard on ourselves that all we do is bring ourselves down. It ain't about you beating yourself up. It's about you lifting yourself up. Scorpio. Now, let me pull these cards. How long? For 46 minutes. Let's see. Hey, Dominique. Really, Lachelle, that's beautiful. Lachelle says she's somebody's tick to their talk, honey. All right, now let's see what's going on in your love life. Your love life. <clears throat> let's see what's going on in Scorpio's love life. Are you Latoya? Probably because you intense. He probably feel like. <laughs> hey, Ladora. Hey, warrior guard goddess. How y'all doing this evening? How y'all feeling about the eclipse tonight? Was it amazing or was it amazing? Somebody slowly making their way to you. Knight of Pentacles, baby. Four ones. It was, wasn't it? Hey, Wendy. They in love. They got we got some Scorpios in here in love with Sagittarius. That Sagittarius and put that charm on you. Just another day, Melissa, Marissa. It was a beautiful for me. It was just beautiful. Did it destroy it? It was an amazing anomaly. And of course, people are gonna have different effects, but the spiritual meaning Somebody popular popular in is with a Leo though. Y'all like that fire, huh? Some of y'all with air, some of y'all with fire. They go to Page of Cups. I know, right? We do, and I'm working on that. You do need some brown eyes merch. Absolutely. We're going to make that happen. Eight of Pentacles.
Release it all. Every time, don't we? Four cups. The star card, they go to healing. I was waiting if you was gonna get them, Dr. Goddamn me, because I wasn't gonna say nothing. I'm like, baby, go on, get them. Go on, go, go on, go, go, go on, get them. You was trying to get him time. You was trying to give him time. <laughs> You was just trying to see like, now, now where's this guy going with this? Well, well what are you doing here, fella? I'm, I'm trying to see where are you going here. <laughs> but he ended up being a weirdo, huh? <laughs> we don't want no weirdo energy here. We trying to, we healing and, and releasing. God dang it. <laughs> hey, Abby. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, Dr. Love. See? <laughs> oh, snap. I know, Kim. That's what I was saying. I'm like, okay, that's how come I didn't say nothing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I love you too, Marissa. Yeah. Doug, you got the page of cups and the page of pentacles. So you got some messages or some, some good news coming your way, some good messages. It's going to be maybe some type of communication, some type of offer. You got somebody secretly crushing on you. Absolutely, Ginger. <laughs> Dr. Love on it. Look, there go the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all working on y'all money? The, uh, the solar eclipse was magic, Zaza. This life experience is magical, isn't it? Gone camp. <laughs> <laughs> there go the sun card baby 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 yeah 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 there go y'all leo y'all talking about None of your business to so kick them YouTube street rocks. That go to three of swords. Ooh, mama Sita Lita Lita. Okay. Of course. Now see that you look, 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 look at these as last three cards is all sitting next. Ooh, but they go to devil card. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Empress. Is that y'all? See that? Look at that is. Look at that Empress. That Empress is very, very abundant. See that? See? <laughs> hey Wanda, how you doing, my love? Yeah, they gotta get them, y'all, because y'all know they be coming out here with their, their crazy stuff. They can't help it. They're drawn to the light. Some of y'all in this divine feminine energy where you're uh, abundant, you attracting long-term relationships, or this is what's coming your way. Could be letting go of some attachments with that devil card. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. Thank you, Dora.
<clears throat> no, I can't do that. I can't do that, okay? I can't go for that. No, no, can do. I can't go for that. Can't go for that. Can't go for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't go for that. I, I can't even do that. I, I just can't do it. So now you got to go back to the YouTube streets, okay? <laughs> you threw the wrench at them and they called it too. <laughs> Hey, Latoya. <laughs> oh, it's okay, honey. I, I got, I got my, I got my supporters here. Doctor Love and Kimberly, they got it. They go to Ten of Cups. They go Temperance. They go your Sagittarius. They go to Ace of Swords. Hazel Bree. <laughs> well, hey, Wesley. I am massively abundantly beautiful. You can't handle me, Wesley, because I'm thick. Thick, 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 thick. You can't handle this. You can't handle all this. You, you can't. You can't. So let me send you on back down there. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> all right. The four ones. What's up with the four ones for Scorpio? Why is this four ones here for Scorpios? Clarify the four ones. Why is the four ones? <laughs> Why is the four ones here? Four ones is the queen of wands. Some type of commitment. You can have a fire sign coming your way. Out of nowhere. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, here they come. Knight of Cups. Somebody say, I'm looking for my soulmate. I'm looking for somebody I can just smack to. Be holding your breath every pull. Y'all so funny. Look, they got a freaking King of Wands. God dang, look. Oh. There go justice card. Mm. Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Wands. Some of y'all may be offering y'all. Somebody's offering their cup to somebody. All right. It's safe to say that. And you're going to end up in some type of commitment. Somebody here who y'all very, very passionate, very, very attractive. Could be a fire sign. Somebody that look good, smell good. They got one of them good voice. They got that nice little walk. You, you, you say you love to see them when they walking off because they got that dip in their hip and they, they know how to swing it. <laughs> Four of Wands got the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpios? Ooh la la, Knight of Pentacles, baby, got that 10 of the pentacles. I said zeros on zeros on zeros and you're going to pull up to the scene uh, with the ceiling missing. <laughs> <laughs> now, but for real, that ten of pentacles represents long term. It represents inheritance, abundance. Winning something, you could be winning something, you could be saving up something, you could be buying raffle tickets every weekend, and that finally that number finally come in. Somebody number about to come in. I did see the justice card. You may be getting news that you got some money for you. They do everybody, they do everybody. Anybody that go live, it don't matter what they talk about. It's a, it don't matter. Pe people are, you know, they have a way to talk because people are lonely, to be honest with you. Look, ooh, look at here. People really, really are, are lonely. Look, they, look at the Ace of Pentacles, see? People are lonely. They go to King of Cups. 
Somebody coming in here to offer. Somebody looking for love. Look. Ooh. Bet you by golly. Why? They go to Six of Cups. Mm. Busting balls on them King of One. What? <laughs> Six of Cups. They go to that past life card we just saw. Now you got the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Hey, Carol. Three of Pentacles. I can believe it's going to be some type of support here, some type of partnership. You got the Ten of Pentacles twice. Look, they go to Nine of Pentacles. See? See? Is this you? You got an opportunity coming for y'all single Scorpios where things have been held up or uh, slow. The delay is over. You finna get some good news here with this page of cups about working with somebody. It's going to be about money. You could meet somebody here on your job. You see, you got the 10 of Pentacles. Some of y'all are going from the nine of Pentacles to a 10 of Pentacles. It could represent you going into a union or this is just you working and manifesting here. Some of y'all got it going on. That's why you got that empress. You know you a bad bee. <laughs> you a bad chick or a bad dude, all right? See, look at here and it just gets better. They go to Ace of Cups, see? That's unconditional love. That's the universe is showing its love to you, okay? In spite of what you may be seeing here, in spite of what you may be going through, you still are always protected with spiritual love, okay? The Most High has you, Scorpios, and you are tremendously loved. So now you got the Eight of Pentacles. What's up with this Eight of Pentacles? Five of Wands, y'all may have some haters. So we see that right now. So you, why are you praying for me? Pray for yourself. I don't want, I don't want your God because your God is racist. <laughs> Cause you ain't supposed to condemn no sinner. If I'm a sinner, if you love God, if your God love me, then why are you doing me like this? You're doing it to me. You're not supposed to be doing it to me because you're the one that's going to come under judgment. Cause there go your judgment right there. You can't judge me when you're already under judgment. It don't work like that. I, because first you got to check yourself because you, well, what it say? You need to wipe the gleam out of your own eye because what you seeing, you may be seeing wrong and you be then plucked out somebody else's life. See, whatever happened to love your neighbors and love everybody. So don't come to me here with that hocus pocus mess because your light will show it, not what you saying. Because a person that really, really loves this God ain't looking for people to deflect and talk crap to. You're going to be spreading the love. All right. So you can miss me with that because that's what I talk about. Love that. That's what it's about for me. So you got judgment waking up, standing your ground, going after what you believe in. You deserve it. Spiritual awakening is here. Spiritual awakening, that's what it's about, spiritual awakening. We're not talking about religious-minded people. We're talking about spiritual things because sometimes religious can get, keep you stuck where you're missing the big picture here. But some of you guys are going to see everything like you should. Somebody ain't happy with this four of cups. And you and you looking for happiness outside of yourself, you're not going to be happy. People can't make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. Because if we depending on people. But you know what? No name. We all have dark and light in all of us. Which one are you operating in? Because you seem for some reason you seen the negative of me. How are you going to see the dark in me? And that ain't what I'm showing you unless your perception is dark. Now, if I'm out here portraying dark ish, then yeah, that you come with me. That ain't what I'm showing here. 
but your perception could be off. So we're living in a day and time where people's perceptions is off. It can even be your love relationship. You could be dealing with somebody here and you're tapping in spiritually. If they're not tapped in spiritually, then you are in an unequally yoked relationship. You're not with nobody that understand you spiritually. I'm just saying. You have to be able to look at other things other than your own understanding sometime. See, they go the devil in the reverse. The devil been stumped out. See? Spirit says some of y'all need to take a break and rest. Rest your soul so that you can gain clarity. It's almost like the gangsters, they be fighting over neighborhoods and fighting over colors that nobody owns. I've never, not seen any of them make billions of dollars off of these colors that they fight over. So it's almost like people need to choose their battles wisely here. Some things ain't even worth fighting, is it? <laughs> Some things ain't even worth fighting about. Spirit says somebody needs to collect themselves. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Because some of you guys are full of illusions and whatever's going on, it's just going to make you worse. Everybody ain't going to come to the light. So, you know, the darkness be trying to come in. So anyway, you got the page of Pentacles. You got some good news coming in. That's the only thing that matters, isn't it? Oh, now they go that queen of cups. See, now you got the king and the queen of cups, the king and the queen of ones. I hope this ain't no third party situation. It could just be a situation where somebody's going to find you extremely attractive. You know, mostly most people are attracted to what they see first, unless you have a discerning spirit. Some people can't look past what they physically see. But you remember, you do also have the six of cups with the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So for some of you guys, somebody from your past could be somebody that... Y'all was kids and used to play on the playground. God dang it. They used to pull your pigtails on the playground. Somebody in the neighborhood you went to junior high with or just could be somebody here from a past life experience. You got some good news. Somebody's coming in here with a real offer for you. So it's time for you to prepare. Ooh, that go a king of swords. That king of swords right next to that queen of cups. Absolutely. Cheers to you too. So you may be dealing with an emperor energy. Somebody can't get you off of their mind though. See two of ones in the reverse and they go that page of cups. Absolutely AMI. But you know what? I believe most of the people, they don't feel that way. It's just that people want to, you know, that used to be a tough, a tough subject that most people didn't dare touch. But you got so many. I mean, man. For every truth, there is an untruth. OK. Oh, but they go that tower card. Oh, there your energy is. You see how y'all be forceful and powerful and things. So y'all not going to see this coming because y'all done already made up y'all mind for some of y'all that it's not going to work or look, I don't want to see your big ass gloves. <laughs> don't come over here with your big gloves. <laughs> Don't nobody want to win. No, don't nobody want to see no big gloves. And you shouldn't have came with no big club. What? Why you didn't choose no hard? Uh huh. <laughs> Just cause it's pink don't mean it get to stay. <laughs> don't come over here flashing your big ass gloves. <laughs> what am I? What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> it didn't even feel right. <laughs> oh man, these trolls is a mess. <laughs> Now you got the Ten of Pentacles. What's up with this Ten of Pentacles? <laughs> oh, there go that Ten of Pentacles again. Woo, that Ten of, ain't going nowhere. Maybe, maybe it's time for things to be set right. Look, there go justice. Libra energy. There go the freaking sun card. Look, you got the Ten of Pentacles. Justice. 
the sun, and the six of swords. You, you are the light that draws this person in. You guys could be attracting and drawing each other. But like I say, you got the six of cups with the ten of pentacles over here. Now you got the ten of pentacles with the justice card, the sun card and the six of swords. Somebody say, you know what? I feel like making love. Somebody say, you know what? I can think of a whole lot of things that have been fussing and fighting. God dang it. I don't think I even want to fuss and fight no more. You know what? Everything is good. The birds are singing. Scorpio, you sure are beautiful. Heaven, when was the last time I told you how beautiful and magnificent you are? It's almost like somebody may be snapping out. They may be snapping out of it. Don't be surprised if a Libra, a Scorpio, Excuse me, Libra, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aries. Pop up from your past. Now you got the sun card, Leo energy. Because this person is in a dark place. With the devil card and the four cups. See? It could be you dealing with somebody. Y'all, I'm just saying people having these spiritual awakenings with the judgment card. Where they were, they were indecisive in the past. And because and, that, that's that, look, if you want, if you don't want a relationship to move forward, let somebody not know what they want or they're not standing on it. This is what you were dealing with. Somebody didn't know what they wanted, but they know what they want now. See why? Because they are waking up. They go judgment. See? Dealing with their inner conflict or, or listening to what other people have to say. You know, some people are very, very impressionable. This could have been somebody here that didn't know how to follow what they wanted themselves. But you got it here. Somebody has not been happy. Because maybe they were avoiding the truth. But something has changed. And they want that cup. See there, that king of cups want that queen of cups. For some of y'all, y'all may have multiple people in your energy. They go to three of swords in the reverse. Some of y'all have been hurting. Y'all don't know how to forgive. But you remember we start this reading off talking about forgiveness. Your emotions about these past life connections, these soulmate connections, they're so intense. You have to learn the lesson in them. Now you got the sun card. Why is the sun here for Scorpios? Clarify the sun. Ooh, we, wow. See, there it is. That, that, is that who y'all looking for? There they go. See? The sun card, the two of cups. This is what y'all manifesting. See? Either you, somebody's manifesting this. There it is, the magician card. See? Abracadabra, god dang it. Nine of one. Somebody here. Look, things are turning around in your favor, Scorpios. See, told you. Didn't I just tell you things are turning? They go to Will of Fortune. See, see, you see it. That a Will of Fortune is. See, y'all gonna get y'all soulmate, Scorpio. You got the sun. Look, the sun. This is hope. This is new beginnings. This is happiness. This is everything is gonna be all right. Energy. If you've been sad, you're gonna be happy again. about love, about reciprocation, about equal give and take, a partnership that you yourself has manifested. And it is this time that you're going to receive it. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. 
Leo. Empress. One more card for the sun card. And what you going to be doing, Matt? The hangman. Something is changing. So you're going to be out there throwing stones at people, huh, when Jesus come back. <laughs> Don't you get caught with your pants down is all I would say. <laughs> Don't you get caught with your pants down, God dang it. <laughs> now you have the empress. <laughs> Absolutely. Just make sure that you're you're blameless. They go to eight of Pentacles. Thank you, Dr. Love and Kimberly. Thank you, AMI. What's going on with this very, very fertile, abundant empress? They be dry. That's why you don't give your energy. They act like they don't want to talk to you. F them. Find somebody that do because you got something real here. They go to four ones. Somebody coming in to put that work in though. Look, one monkey don't stop no show, Scorpios. Now, Remember that one monkey don't stop no show. If they want to act up, okay, give them some time and you may end up making another love connection somewhere else. You dig? Page of Wands. Some of y'all, <laughs> y'all going to get them a run for their money though. They go to Queen of Swords. Some of y'all still need to work on releasing the past because there go the five of cups. See? So even if somebody was trying to come to some of y'all and change everything, y'all ain't going to cut them no break anyway. <laughs> not with that queen of swords and that five of cups energy, you're not. Don't you make yourself miss out on something. Do you know what Latoya? That's why you can't jump right back in. They don't get to come back in your life and pick up where they left off. No, they have to earn that. Besides that, you may not like them like that no more. You got to build it back up for them. Just like it took you a long time to start stalking them and become obsessed over them. The longer they stay away from them, the more you're starting to wean yourself off of them. And they're going to have to do whatever they got to do to make you stalk them again. Yeah, 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 you don't just hold on. No, the more you put Scorpio the way away, the less they want you. Okay. So it, it 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 could work, it could work in your favor, or it could come back to bite you in the arse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause you're gonna mess around and Scorpios ain't gonna want your ass no more. And then what? And then they're gonna start being real and nasty. They're gonna start telling you all the stuff they didn't tell you the truth about because they didn't want to hurt your feelings when they thought they was in love with you and you was gonna act right. But when they realize you ain't ish and you ain't gonna act right, then they're gonna humble you real, real quick, fast, and in a hurry with this thing called the stanger. <laughs> all right, what else, what are the what is the possible outcome for Scorpios in love? What else? What's the possible outcome for Scorpios in love? Let's see. Let's see what is the possibility in some real love. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. You got to forgive sometimes, but you know, sometimes you be holding on from forgiving and apologizing. Hey, hey, milkshake. That you that you that you let it linger too goddamn long till you lose the momentum. You never want to lose that connection. You know, sometimes you play games so much till you lose the momentum in the connection because you beat and picked it apart and you were like, well, damn, I don't even think I want it. If you if you think 
If you even think that you got a good thing, then you better act like it. It don't mean that you got to kiss nobody tail. It don't mean that you have to be taken advantage of or things like that. But it does mean that you're going to have to be able to put that work in and be patient. I loved it, Vincent. I absolutely loved it. I took, I took a video of it. I made a whole Scorpio video with it. It's going to be on my other channel, though. It was absolutely amazing. And, and I know that it was something that I, I feel like if you saw it, then it's going to change something if you know how to tap into that energy for your good. But nothing is going to help you if you're full of crap that you need to let go of. That's, that, that's all of us. They go to chariot. Travel, you guys could be traveling. Victory, taking control over your life, moving, moving forward. They go to that seven of pentacles. Uh, somebody, something is growing. Something is growing here. See, you're going to have something to put aside here. So somebody wants to build something here. He's that that was an alien from the hood side. We don't we don't F with them. <laughs> We don't F with that kind. We don't F with that kind. All right. <laughs> what else for Scorpio spirit with this chariot and seven of pentacles? They said, say bye bye, <laughs> night night. <laughs> We're going to nick night night. <laughs> they go to six of swords again, moving away. They go to that freaking tower car. Ooh, that tower bringing in a nice energy. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all guards are going to be forced down. Because there she go again. So it's just that it takes the right one. It takes the right one to peel, to pull that, that heart back up. But like I said, you do have the queen of cups showing up with the king of cups. So I feel like this is love. Yeah, Lachelle, you, you know, they, they, they from the side where they do that, that, uh, that, that Reggie, it, 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 it makes you cough a lot. But on the other side, I mean, I'm talking about all you got to do is look at it and you're going to go, you're going to be on cloud nine. All right. I'm talking about over there on the right side of the ethers over there in the, in the galaxy, you, you know, over there, you know, on the other side of the tracks. All you got to do is look at it and you're just going to be on one. I'm saying you're going to be on one. But them other ones who we had to uh, expel from here, uh, they're going to give you that headache. Uh, yeah, you're going to have a headache fooling with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going to have a headache. But what you're going to do is it's time for you to let it go. Let it go. Let go and let God. All right. Let go and let love. There it is. Let your guards down because it's coming down. You, you, you think that you're not going to be in love and give in, but little do you know the right one in the right situation is about to happen because sometimes we can get in our own way. Sometimes we get in our own way, y'all, to the point where you're going to push it away. But being that it's going to happen like this and you're not going to see, you're not going to expect it. You can't maneuver. You can't manipulate it in any kind of way. You can actually allow it to unfold. And for somebody, it's going to give you everything you've always desired. But remember, first, first and foremost, you have to be whatever it is you're trying to track. If you depending on them to give you everything, you're going to be broken. You are. And let's just be real. You are because. They're not supposed to complete you. You have to find that. And you may not all the way be all the way complete, but at least do some work on yourself. Because if not, they're going to be holding you like you are a puppet on a string. And somebody's going to always have control over your emotions. And you always going to get your feelings hurt here, Scorpios. What else for Scorpio spirit? They go to Knight of Pentacles. Something you waiting on is coming in. Some of y'all need to be looking sexy. Y'all need to get y'all sexy back. There it is, baby. See? They go, you happily ever after. There it is. You can have it all. There it is. See? 
There it is, 1010. There it is. Scorpios, 1010. There it is. See? So this is what you can have. This is this is the possible outcome. Somebody here finally coming in and giving you the offer that you deserve that's going to end up leading to something that you can actually be happy and safe in and actually fall in love. That That's what it is, Scorpios. You can have it all. All you got to do is just say so. That's all you got to do is just give a little. Give a little. Forgive. Be open to it. Be optimistic. Give it a chance, Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all. 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 You ain't going to get, you're not going to get hurt a milkshake if you don't give it all in. Remember that. Because remember, when you're meeting someone, they don't deserve all of your cup. You know, if they're not giving you all they cup, it's really a no brainer. But we'd be so in love and we'd be so anxious to shove that whole cup down they throw, don't we? You, you can look, you can't you can't expect for them to guard your heart. It's up to you to guard your heart. You have to lead them in the direction that you want them to treat you. So if you're not going to, if if you be selfish with your love, then they're going to chase you. If you're not trying to shove it all when they ain't asked for it all, then you're going to be safer. Take your time. Even if it's someone from your past, you're going to find out everything you need to find out if you give it some time. They don't get to come in and, and play in Scorpio's business if they ain't put that time in and they've been away from you because you know you ain't going to feel good about them getting all of you in anyway because in the back of your mind, you're going to be trying to figure out where they come from. Huh? Huh? Well, what you coming back over here for? What, 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 so, so, so what was you doing over there? So why are you coming back over here then? Well, if they ain't coming back in to show you because there's a such thing that a person make up their mind, they're going to do exactly what it takes to let you see that it's about you and you're not going to have to figure it out when they really want you. You ain't, you ain't got to worry about it. Let's just be honest, y'all. They just really ain't been wanting it. OK, that's just what it is. But that's all right. That's OK. We ain't going to even say is that is their loss. We just going to say it's something better for you. OK, so we ain't going to hold no grudge because they chose somebody else because nine times out of ten, they ass is going to come back anyway. They always come back. So what are you tripping for? You know, they're going to come back anyway. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, they coming back. You know, they ass is going to, they, they done talked all this crap or they ain't said nothing, but they going to end up coming back anyway. Now, what you do when they come back is totally, totally up to you. Let me remind you though. Just let me remind you who you are. You're that empress and I done hit it. Oh, there she is. See, that's who you are. She don't chase after nobody. See, she ain't got to chase after nobody. She don't. I know she get tired just like everybody else, but she's content because she know that she has everything she needs to attract whatever she desires. She just got to make sure she's good. That's all. You don't have to settle. It comes a point when we can blame them. But now it's time for you to start looking at your own self. Some people don't even deserve your attention, Scorpio, let alone your whole love cup. Everybody can't handle your cup. And when they can't give it back to you, you know, you're going to feel some type of way. So to make sure you protect yourself, only give out what is deserving of them to receive. That's it. And you won't go wrong because at the end of the day, you are abundant and you deserve to have it all. You deserve to have it all. Some of you guys are looking very, very beautiful and attractive because you got the queen of wands and the king of wands. There is a lot of chemistry. OK, there is a lot of attraction. There is a lot of. <laughs> There's a lot of that type of energy. OK, I'm just saying I'm just saying I'm just saying it's a lot of that energy. OK, so I'm just saying it's it's 
it, it's, it's a magnetic energy that is surrounding you and you should stand in your power. And if you got beautiful love, at least just hold back and see what it is before you annihilate it. Cause that could be the one that you end up spending the your rest of your life with Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I appreciate everyone. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to hang out with brown eyes. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, they got you. <laughs> I don't, I don't see them folks in my neighborhood. I don't see them down here feeding the hunger people. I don't see them over here cutting down on all of the violence in the neighborhood. I don't see none of those people doing none of those things like that. I'm just saying your time could be used in so many other areas where you really could serve some good here. I mean, you're online hiding behind an avatar. I mean, come on, people, come on. But it doesn't matter, Scorpios, your life. It's about to be very, very fulfilling if you allow it to be Scorpios. All right. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure you hit your notification bell for all so that you don't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. Don't forget, I have another video, another Scorpio reading on my other channel. It's going to play tomorrow. And we walk through the whole solar eclipse. And it is absolutely amazing. It is phenomenal. I know it may not mean much to other people, but I felt I felt so, so, so much uh, powerful spiritual energy and meaning in that that can benefit you. Uh, but like I say, you got to be able to let go of the old so that you can receive something new because you know you deserve it all, Scorpios. You are beautiful and you are worthy of it all. So I love you guys so much. You guys have an awesome week and I'll talk to you on the next one. Shout out to my uh, Scorpio members and my Scorpio moderators, my uh, Dr. Love, Miss Kimberly. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. I love each and every one of you and you guys have an awesome evening and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye Scorpio.